one of you asked me in telegram about how to turn on aux lenses in a gcam so hello everyone this is gcam the boss and in this video i'm going to show you how you can turn on aux cameras in any gcam so let's begin those who doesn't know what aux cam actually is well aux cam or aux lens is a feature of gcam from where you can turn on ultra wide macro depth telephoto or any other lens that are available in your phone and use them in gcam Aux lens feature is not supported by all brands. Some brands doesn't allow third-party apps to detect Aux lens IDs. I faced this type of issue with Realme phones, especially with those phones which have the Realme UI 2.0. So if you want to try and see if it works or not, you are always free to try. For this video, I'm using SGCAM 8.4 V25. You can try this method with any possible GCAM that supports Aux cam settings. Now if you do not use any kind of config, the process of turning on aux lens is very simple. Just look at the aux cam option in the settings and turn on all the lens you want to use. That's all, the particular lens is turned on and you can use it from the viewfinder. But the problem occurs only then when you use config file that was made on other phones. If you use config file, the gcam applies the aux lens IDs of that phone in which the config was made on. So when you switch to other lenses, the gcam applies the camera IDs of that phone and if the camera IDs do not match with your phone's camera IDs, the gcam will crash. So to fix this, we need to correct the camera IDs first and for that, I am using this app. I will drop the link in description. So as you can see, all the lens are... So as you can see, all the camera IDs are showing here. 0 is for back main lens, 1 is for front. 20 is for depth sensor, 21 is for macro, 22 is for ultra wide, and 61 is a logical sensor. It's a logical sensor, so it can be used in GCAM as an individual lens, but we need this one also. Now open the GCAM and import the config file you want to use, and then find the Oxcam settings from settings page. Different GCAM has different names like additional cameras. If you search it, I think you'll find it. In this GCAM, aux camera settings are available in the additional settings, so just open it and as you can see here it is. Now open it and turn on manual array to use manual lens ID settings. If you are having trouble finding this, just find an option like this where you can put all the numbers in serial. This is the main part where we need to do the changes. Now add the ID numbers from the camera ID application. In my phone 0, 1, 20, 21, 22, 61, these are all the ID numbers of my phone but it could be different in yours. So I'm gonna type them here and you guys type yours. You can use comma in between but don't use any space. Inputting camera ID process is done. Now come back and go to show aux cam settings. From this page you can turn on the aux lens switching toggles. Turn on all the lens you want to use but don't turn on the logical ID lens. In my phone, it was the 5th ID, so I'm keeping the 5th toggle off. My phone has 4 lens in the rear, so I'm turning the first 4 toggles on. Now come back and go to aux name and text color. From here, you can customize the names of aux lens switching toggles, but it's not necessary to do any change here, so I'll leave them as they are. Now come back. As you can see here, all the toggles showing in the viewfinder. You can switch to any lens from here, so if I switch to another lens, it's working perfectly.